going on everybody jc here today from fittest gamers and today i'll be presenting to you all wwe 2k23 and its different editions breaking down what each edition brings thoroughly first off and foremost let's give thanks to chris scullion of the video games chronicle.com as his article has a clean description of what each version of the game brings you have the standard edition the deluxe edition and the icon edition uh, and that will be linked in the description of this video so you can have a good read of that article get an idea of what brings what so first off the pre-order bonus pack for the cross-gen digital edition that will be available for ps4 and ps5 this will be released march 17th for 69.99 if you pre-order this you get the bad bunny bonus pack you get the bad bunny character ruby tier my faction card you get uh and then yeah the, the orders the, the digital pre-orders will be built into a key code apparently this is through gamestop and uh, the physical pre-orders will be packed in the box so uh you get this you're, it's gonna come with it the game you'll probably get a code via email through playstation i forgot how they did it before uh, i think when you download it it gives you the option to download it already i think that's how it works i'm more than likely sure that's how it works and then we move on to the deluxe edition what does this bad boy bring it's very vague i guess here so the gamestop site breaks it down entirely um it's you get the base game you get the season pass which is worth it a thousand percent you get the pre-order bonus pack bad bunny you get the three-day early access and the deluxe edition bonus pack what is the deluxe edition bonus pack the deluxe edition bonus pack is uh, it includes a john cena evil card this is for uh, my faction i believe it also includes a emerald tier bianca belair a gold tier oscar and edge card and three basic day one my faction card packs my faction now is going to have online we're going to touch base on that too maybe today or tomorrow not exactly sure when but it's actually going to be useful now and actually going to be fun rather than just playing against the cpu non-stop and then we have the icon edition pack which is the base game the pre-order bonus pack aka bad bunny and it's card for uh my faction you have the season pass the ruthless aggression pack this is where the juice is at right the ruthless aggression pack includes john cena's prototype you know persona is uh followed by batista who was then called leviathan then you get randy orton and brock lesnar when they were in the i guess the developmental stage of their careers and then you get a john cena legacies championship and the wrestlemania 22 arena these are all great features i don't know why the 22 arena is like part of that pack because i'm pretty sure it's going to be a part of the showcase mode unless i am entirely wrong but um this is what we have for you all and uh let's go ahead and i guess talk about which editions are worth getting or what not now you know a little bit of gameplay in the background so yeah let's talk about which gameplay edition is well worth it i guess which which one am i going to get personally uh and uh yeah we'll go from there so personally, after already looking at the different editions and going through this, what I did last year is I got the Deluxe Edition. But later on, when the NWO pack was available, I purchased it, which technically was 120 total. So what I'm thinking of doing this year is I think I'm going to get the Icon Edition pack, which brings the Ruthless Aggression pack that a lot of people are going to probably want to play as to get that prototype Cena. It's unfortunate that it has the WrestleMania 22 arena uh with that and also the Cena prototype character because I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to play as them in the showcase mode. So why would it not let us unlock him in the showcase mode? Why would we have to purchase it through the Ruthless Aggression pack? Unless I'm, you know, I just don't know. This doesn't make any sense to me. WrestleMania 22, he faced Triple H. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's going to be in the showcase mode too, unless it's not. I, I, I really... It didn't make any much sense to me as to why they're doing it that way. But overall, I think the Icon Edition is the bang for the buck. If you're going to end up getting the Ruthless Aggression Pack later on, then you might as well get the Icon Edition. I never really get standard editions of games anymore, unfortunately, unless it's a single player game. If it's a single player game, then I'm going to get the standard edition. Um, or like one of those like single like single playthrough kind of games. This game, WWE, usually lasts a while, and I love doing content with it, and I love creating dream matches and just playing it for fun nonstop. So my honest opinion is, yeah, I'm probably going to get the Icon Edition for 120 because overall, if you end up getting the Ruthless Aggression Pack later on, you're still going to drop the 120. Either way, I'm super excited. Which edition do you guys think you are all, which, which edition do you all think you're going to get? Um, 
I mean, I think any addition you get, you're going to enjoy the game regardless. The showcase mode is going to be absolutely amazing. I am intrigued to see what the DLC packs are going to include. I'm not a fan of DLC packs. because I'm like, Instead of having it as DLCs and taking so long to give them to us, technology has advanced. It doesn't take that long to get each character like into the game now. I'd rather just have them included into the game already. Unfortunately, we're going to have to wait, you know, probably. The DLC comes out relatively fast, though. It was like, what, like every three weeks we had a dlc pretty much maybe once a month we had a dlc going into july i believe and correct me if i am wrong in that I'm not always right by the way <laughs> but nonetheless i feel like i'm not a really i just wish everything would be included but i am excited how do you all feel it feels like they're gonna take my faction a lot serious this time around and uh i'm with it 100 percent I am with it 100%. I am excited. I cannot wait. Words cannot describe. When I saw that news, when I woke up today, I'm like, oh, it's real. It's coming out now. And I was calling it for the longest. Now, what has me uh, intrigued has nothing to do with WWE is what is AEW going to do to release their game? Because WWE is knocking out the park. They're, they're, they're knocking out the park. There, I mean, right now, everyone's excited. The cover athlete is absolutely amazing, in my opinion. John Cena in the cover is a work of art is a thing of beauty and it's well deserving i mean people are talking bad about it but i really don't think there's any need to talk bad about it i think it's well deserving and it's a cool cover to see in the showcase mode it makes sense as to what the showcase mode is giving us we're going to relive his career pretty much so what are your takes comment below let me know what versions you think you are going to get if you think you know if you think the icon edition is worth it please let me know and i'll probably make a heavy decision on that as well because uh, I do want to bring content to you all. And I do want to bring everything this game has to offer. Starting with the Ruthless Aggression Pack. Uh, ideally, I mean, I'm going to spend an extra 60. It's like an extra. Maybe a. I don't know. It's like almost an extra 100 in games. Because I have to get WWE. Followed by uh, MLB The Show. Which has nothing to do with WWE. But there's lots of content I have to get. Lots of games coming out this year. Uh, but well worth it and well deserving of us gamers because it's been a rough patch. A lot of games have not been completed. I don't know how many bad games I've bought in recently that I'm like, why would I buy that? It wasn't even finished. So, uh, but yeah, that's what I have for you all. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Remember that God is real, God is good, and miracles do happen. And I am a living proof of all of these miracles because I'm still standing. I had an awful accident in June of this past year. So, yes, hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, he's roaring and alive like a lion. Remember to say your prayers, eat your vitamins. That's Hulk Hogan's mantra of brother and John Cena's mantra of never give up, which finally suits the videos because it seems like the WWE game is all about Mr. Cena. So, thank you all once again. God bless you all. JC from FG, and I'm logging out, baby. Deuces!